We had a few engine dramas um, on the last day. She started breathing pretty heavily. Um, we turned it off, um, just going to the last level stage and tried starting up again. It took a while to turn over and start. So um, had a look in service and the boys did everything they could, checked timing, checked everything, but it seems to be uh, the rings have gone in the engine, so all over for us. So that was from last night, gut-wrenching for Dylan King and Lee Tinney, who had done a fantastic job. The major benefactor, of course, was second place yesterday, but now the winner of the opening heat and forward rides, Brad Markovic. Awesome, mate. Thanks, Dean. I mean, Dylan was the fastest on the stages yesterday, and listen, heartbreaking for him. I mean, he deserved to be here and be there last night, but unfortunately, that's our sport. Um, we stuck to our game plan yesterday and consistent, keep out of trouble, and you know what? We've capitalised on it, and we've come out the winner, so we'll take it, mate. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, and good luck today, mate. You did Thank an you. awesome job, Thank mate, you very yesterday. much. No, I appreciate it. So that was also Dylan King heading out to the bustle and stage. Our teams did a four-kilometre wrap around there. We're going to catch up with all the crews this morning, see how their runs went around the, uh, the tarmac stage, but also what they're expecting today. Mick Patton, good opening day for you. Second place, talk us through uh, how your whole day unfolded. Yeah, it was really good actually. Everything went really, really smoothly, which was uh, the plan. So we stayed in the middle of the road and kept away from all the debris on the side of the road. So um, yeah, we are uh, in second by 16 seconds yesterday, which was yeah very pleasing first time in the Evo. Um, yeah, back to sort of reality now and, and back on today's pace and off we go. The service last night was quite frantic. We did what was essential just to do the tarmac stage. Um, this morning, rest, rest of the service, so just um, brake bleed, put the sump guard back on, quick wheel alignment, make sure it's still pointing in the right direction. But fortunately, it was, it was a very light roll and um, the car's come up okay. We had an issue with an oxygen sensor yesterday. Um, it snapped off and was getting a whole heap of fresh air in there. So I thought the car was running lean, so I dumped a whole heap more fuel in there. And 1K from the end of the stage six, I think it was, we ran out of fuel. So yeah, that was the end of the day for us. Julia Barclay, it was going oh so well for you guys despite a few intercom dramas, but talk us through what happened on that stage. I think basically, I think we were just pushing a bit too hard. We would just come around the corner, the back just got in the loose stuff. I think the back wheel must have caught on something there and just flipped us over. It's a shame, they made major damage to the car, or it should be right today? Oh, it's basically all superficial. I mean, mechanically, it was really good. I mean, it just doesn't look very pretty. If it's anyone's game, it's um, between Molly, Simon and I. If we all have clean runs, any of, any of us can win the rally. So that's what it's going to come down to today. Consistency, basically, to each stage. Molly showed that yesterday. She had really good pace, but she was super consistent as well. So she took the day. We'll be looking to do the same today. Bill Hayes, lots of attention shown to obviously Molly yesterday, and quite rightly so. But you're in the car with her. It must have been an amazing uh, piece of history to be part of. Uh, yeah, well, it really was, but I was just the ballast anyway, so it didn't make too much difference. <laughs> nah, look, it was really good. The uh, What we saw going on from outside the car was probably more entertaining. She was very level-headed all day and did a great job, obviously. Last night, I believe, was sort of running through with an issue through the tarmac, so she's still got a bit of balancing to do today. Yeah, we probably gave them a little bit of a head start that we didn't want to. Um, there was a bit of insecurity, I guess, with the car last night, so we take, took it probably a little bit easier than we should have. Um, but that was a decision we all made, so um, yeah, we'll be alright today, there's some good stages and you know, we have the advantage of a bit of road position, so we're going to try and use that as good as we can from the first corner. Yeah. With your dramas yesterday, am I right in the fact you might have a better tyre bank than some other competitors for today? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't really let the other guys know, but uh, we, we went out there and sort of doubled, doubled up our usage on our tyres and you know, like I just I ran the gauntlet a little bit so that today that I've got to, I can put four new tyres on pretty much every service. Yeah. But that's what you strategize. You go, well, look, we're having some issues. While we're dealing with that, why burn up a set of tyres that aren't going to give give me a maximum benefit today? You can hit the ground running with a bit of confidence to go. I can every time we go out there, I got fresh rubber. Yeah, absolutely, and you know it's exactly that. And uh, it was no point in just destroying it. Like we, no matter what, we were always going to the best possible result for us was third. Yeah. Uh, after we had our problems, so we got our best possible result, and we didn't use as many tyres as we needed to, which was fantastic. The thing is, I know what your best possible result is today. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Good luck, mate. We're going to be going flat out.